Welcome back everyone, my name is Coxie and this is going to be part 27 in our FPS tutorial series. So today I thought we'd add another weapon to our game and then start working on our weapon switching system. I'm actually not going to set up the new weapon to shoot and have animations and all that kind of stuff because we've already done that with the pistol and you guys can go back and watch that video if you would like. Um, keep in mind that if you do set up another weapon it may not be exactly like the pistol so you may have to uh, modify the, squ uh, the script that we use for the pistol quite a fair bit depending on um, the type of weapon that you're setting up but um, if you guys would really like me to do a video and set up the new weapon uh, maybe make a new script for it maybe we could do prefab shooting instead of ray car shooting or, or something like that if you guys want me to actually set it up on a video as a tutorial then just let me know in the comments. If not, I'll just do it all off camera. But for now, we're going to add a new weapon to our game. And I think, yeah, I'm pretty sure I told you guys or showed you guys this weapon many, many weeks ago. I got it off the asset store and it's by Weapons uh, Chamfer Zone. And it was the AKM. I just thought it was a pretty cool looking machine gun. So you could just go to the asset store, type in AKM and you'll be able to get this model. Keep in mind that this one is a free version and it doesn't have any moving parts or anything that you can animate like the pistol. But if you'd like to get another gun with moving parts and things like that, we'll just go ahead and try to find another free asset or maybe you'll have to pay a few dollars to get one or something like that. But for now, we are going to get started and if you've been following along, you should have your player with the first person character and then we have the pistol and our shoot point as children of the first person's character. So what I'm going to do is right click on the first person character, create an empty game object, and we're going to call this weapon holder. And the name is pretty self-explanatory. This is what we're going to use to hold the player's weapons. I'm going to grab the pistol and I suppose even the shoot point and just grab that and drop it in there actually drag that shoot point back on the bottom so now we have the weapon holder as a child of the first person character and we have the pistol and shoot point as children of the weapon holder so what I'm going to do now just to save a bit of time I want I want this um, this AKM to be basically in the same position as the pistol. So if we just grab the the weapon model and drag it onto the actual pistol itself, I'm just going to, um, oh, first of all, if your player is a prefab, you won't be able to do that. Um, you'll have to actually open up the prefab of the player and uh, mess around for that way. But you can actually just right click on a prefab in your hierarchy and choose unpack prefab. And then you'll be able to just work on it in the hierarchy just like you do um, with anything else. Otherwise, if you try to work on a prefab in the hierarchy, um, it's, it's, uh, it's like this. You open it up and basically, you know, you'll just get it in a separate hierarchy, which I'm not really a massive fan, on to be, uh, fan of, to be honest, but uh, I'm just used to doing it this way. So I just uh, made my player not a prefab anymore by unpacking it and now I can work on it in the hierarchy and then I'll just make a new prefab of the player when I'm finished. So I'll close that pistol. I'll double click on the AKM sorry I'll just change the name to AKM and you can see it's actually got a bullet on top of the gun just there so I'll just get rid of this bullet and now that we've got the basic um, position I'm just going to drag this AKM out of the pistol and drop it on top of the weapons holder and now if we close the pistol we should have this I'll just drag this up below the pistol so yeah now we have the pistol and the AKM as separate children of the weapons holder so if I double click on this AKM you'll see it there and it's facing the wrong way so you can see here in the rotation on the Y it's actually minus 179 so it's basically just spun around 180 degrees so if I just change that to a zero that should face the right way 
and we need to resize this. So if you click on the resizing tool or the scale tool and then just click on the actual cube in the middle and move your mouse forward, you can see that we can just scale it up very easily until we get it how we want and it scales it all up evenly on the X, Y and Z. And now we can just get rid of this pistol by just disabling it there and we should just see the gun. So if we go to game view, you'll see we have our new weapon right there. I'm not going to uh, mess around for it, I'll just leave it like that. That's fine because we're only just putting this here so we can have another gun to switch to. So I'll just enable the pistol again and what we're going to do is very very easy script just to switch between our weapons. So if we go to our scripts and uh, actually we'll do it in, we'll just do it as a manager, okay? So in our managers we have our UI manager if we create a new script, we can just call this Weapon Manager. Open that up. And I'll just get rid of this. Okay, Visual Studio 2019. Okay, I should grab that at some stage. So, what we're going to do is we can just do a serialized field and we'll just do an array of game objects and call it weapons. And if we save this and go back into our game, click on the weapon holder and we can just put the weapon manager in on top of the weapon holder game object and you'll see that we have our weapon array and the size of zero. If you just open up the weapons holder, left click on the pistol, hold down shift and then click on the AKM so you've got them both selected. Well actually first of all you need to click on the weapons holder and make sure that we lock the inspector with this little padlock up here. And now we can select the pistol and the AKM and just drag that straight onto the weapons and we will have pistol and then AKM and these element numbers are very important to remember because the, these numbers are how we access the certain or the different um, game objects in this array. So pistol is 0, AKM is 1. So what I do um, when I'm working on projects, especially if I'm working with other people, is so you don't get confused, just just say something happens to your game and for some reason all of these come out of their slots and you've got no idea what was where and it can be probably one of the, yeah, it's, it's probably the main reason why using arrays can be a, a bit confusing sometimes and why you do it a different way because, um, yeah, uh, you can sometimes get confused as to what was supposed to be where, but an easy way to fix this is just say, for my pistol, I would just do an open and close square bracket with a zero in the middle, so I know that this pistol goes in the zero slot for the array. Same for the AKM. I mean, it's not confusing when we've got two weapons, but imagine if you had, you know, 50 to 100 weapons or something like that, even less than that, you'd still get um, very confused. So we can change the AKM and make that have a 1 in brackets and it should change there, there we go. So now we know what is what and what goes in what slot. So back to our script, we have that sorted out. Um, we probably, yeah, I'll make it so that we can actually not have a weapon equipped at all so that like just say you had a game with arms and um, guns and stuff like that maybe you wanted to you know not always be holding a gun maybe you just wanted to use your hands kind of like in arc where you know when you don't have weapons or um, tools equipped you can actually pick berries or do different actions so easiest way to do that would probably just do a method and we'll call it void unequip weapons and we could just do a for loop so we could say for and then double tap tab and then it will fill this out for us and all we need to do so for int i equals zero so it's going to start at the zero 
um, the game objects that's in the zero position of our array, which is the pistol, will start there, and then it's going to loop from there all the way to the end of the array. So however many objects we put in our array, it's going to go from the very start to the end and loop through each one, but only if we change this to weapons.length. Make sure length is a capital L. And so for each one of these game objects in our array, we just want to set them inactive. So weapons i dot set active is false. And that's it. So if we were to do void start and then on start, if we called unequip weapons and saved our script and went back to the game, now we play the game, regardless of if we had the weapons turned on or off, they're going to be off, okay? They're going to be inactive. And the best thing about how we're doing this is we're putting the scripts on the actual weapons themselves. So if the pistol's not equipped, I don't have to worry about you know, pressing left mouse button and shooting and all that kind of stuff because it's not there, okay? If you had the script for your um, shooting on your player, you would have to make sure that you disabled it for um, each one depending on what weapon you switch to. So doing it this way just really makes it easy in my opinion. So that's all well and good. We don't have a weapon in our hand when we start the game, but we want to be able to switch between weapons. So we can simply just do our void update and then we'll just do a couple of inputs. So we'll do if input dot get get key down and it will be key code dot uh, alpha one. So alpha one is just one on the keyboard. And in this, we may as well keep this nice and organized. So we'll just do another method method and say void equip pistol, okay? And when we want to equip our pistol, we should first call uh, unequip weapons because Doing it this way, just just say you had the pistol in your hand and you wanted to switch to a shotgun or something like that, all right? Say we had a shotgun in our game. You would have to know that you uh, previously had the pistol equipped and you need to make sure that you disabled that pistol before switching to the shotgun. Um, and vice versa, for any weapon you had in your hand, you'd have to make sure you knew which weapon was in your hand and disable that weapon when you switch to the next weapon. Um, with this, you're just disabling every single weapon straight away so it doesn't matter what weapon you have in your hand now we have no weapon in our hands at all and then we can simply just say what weapon we do want to have in our hand and we want the pistol so if we just copy this line here chuck that there and we can say instead of i we know that our pistol is zero uh, we can also look here, we know just from our hierarchy that the pistol's zero. So we can change the I to zero and we can change false to true. So we actually set that one. And then we could probably do another one while we're here and do void equip uh, AKM. And we could just take those two lines of code, paste that in there. Always make sure that you call unequip weapons first. You don't want to change to your pistol and then unequip your weapons because that would just um, get rid of the pistol straight away. So make sure you call unequip weapons first and then you change it to the one you want. And we know that the AKM is element one and element one there. And now all we have to do is when we press alpha 1, we call equip pistol. I'll just copy that. I should have done this before I did that, but anyway. I'll paste that if statement there and change it to 
and else if and change alpha 1 to 2 and then change equip pistol to equip AKM okay so save that and basically that's all you really need to do for the basic um, switching between the weapon types so, um, we, we're going to have to add other things into here depending on what weapon we switch to but this is just the very basic switch between each weapon for now so if we go back to our game and we actually play the game now you see that we've got nothing in our hand if I press 1 we have our pistol And if I press 2, then we have the AKM. Now, obviously, the AKM uh, doesn't shoot. I really need to change the the writing, the white writing, so that it's not white, because you can't see it when you look up at the roof. The reason why it's so bright is because I, I actually um, I added directional light so it'll be easier for you guys to sort of see it in the tutorial. Like I noticed if I was watching this on mobile or a tablet, the screen would be a lot darker than what it was on my screen. So I just wanted to lighten it up. I can always just um off. Make sure that you turn make sure you unlock the inspector for your weapons holder too, guys. So yeah, my directional light's turned on. If I turn it back off, then we go back to the dark scene again, okay? I've just used that so we can see what's going on so yeah that is basically all we need to do for our weapon switching for now we're going to need to um, update it because you can see um, if I switch to the pistol look at the ammo count up the top it says uh, 12 we've got 12 bullets in our magazine and we're carrying 60 in our backpack or whatever the hell we're carrying them but if I switch to the AKM it is still the same same UI for the pistol, so the same amount of ammo. Um, so we can fix that easy enough later on. But just for now, that is how we will switch between our weapons, and we can add as many weapons as we want to this array. And yeah, simply just add another one of these, and then you know change it there so that we push push three and get that one, and so on. And that's basically. A very easy way to switch between weapons. Alright guys, I uh, hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you got something out of it and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching, cheers.